listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. What it do, Trillions? Episode 192 of the Truth Be Told podcast. Ooh. It's your boy Big UU in this thing. Reefer in the building. Black Tide is also in this thing. <laughs> what? Not going by Black Tide this week. Oh, shit. We have an alias. Another, a new alias? <laughs> going by Black Becky. <laughs> Black <laughs> Becky. Oh shit! I'm going by big, big, big baby Yoda. Big baby, Yoda. big baby, oh, big baby, shit. Nah, big baby nah, Yoda. Really, now nah, I know what y'all are doing here. All right, All right. Uh, shout out to uh, AW. AW, flame the fuck flame out of us. my ass up in the comments section. Hey, hey, it's, it's and, thank, said, and thank you for not finding anything on me. <laughs> God, Look, should I read? Should I read the actual comments? I'll Listen, probably, while, while I'm pulling up here now, while I'm pulling up these comments, make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, trillmac.com slash YouTube. Um, <laughs> Subscribe ASAP. Uh, now, if you write a comment, we might read yours as, uh, as well. And hit the uh, notification <clears throat> to share with your friends. Definitely. If you're on the Apple Podcast app, please leave us a five star review. Mm-hmm. We need as many as possible. Thank you so much for everybody that has uh, given us a review. We really appreciate you. Um, let's get into these fucking comments from <laughs> <Yeah>. AW. <laughs> Do it. Hey, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Last episode we talked about Black Tots top five. Okay, mm-hmm. clearly a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, who's a uh, longtime trillion, he says yeah. Black Tots top five sound like a thirty year old Becky's playlist. Bro, Oof. Flame, flame my ass up. Yeah, uh, scorched. <laughs> damn. Um, he hit us with the back to back. Last episode, uh, he did with the back to back. He did the back to back. Y'all niggas ain't like, gonna respond. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with another one. Uh, I'm over here. We, you know, we, we listened to the last episode. Where it was a lot of uh, Denzel Washington hate. I had to get that cleared up because I know a lot of people was like, "Yo, why does this nigga hate Denzel Washington?" I had to clear it up a little bit. We still don't know. We still don't. Get uh, it. Aw commented. He said, "The hate in Big UU is Baby Yoda strong." <laughs> You can't reason with someone like that. His acting reviews got to be graded on a curve. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all yeah. brought this upon yourselves. <laughs> Look, this is y'all's doing. <laughs> this, this nigga Black Tie said he hit us with the whole death bars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I said so. You just this how this how I'm gonna start my week. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, y'all, well, well, I well, early, like yo, well, listen, Monday. Y'all, uh, I'm gonna wait till y'all. I say, y'all, I'm gonna wait for y'all to wake up so y'all can catch these flames. <laughs> oh shit, man! But shout oh, out to AW. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, keep telling it how it is. OG trillion, long time listener, man. Shout out to him. <laughs> we go <gonna> box. <laughs> hey, 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 let me say this. <laughs> The re- <laughs> AW been with us a long time. Don't everybody think you're yo, everybody come over here the comments yo, that you're talking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't get out yeah, there talking all hot. Yo, Hell no. Nah. The only niggas do that shit in my face either because I'm going to beat your ass. All right? <laughs> Straight up. I all don't right? take that lightly. Uh, But no, nah, man. Shout out to AW, man. Shout out to all the trainers out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, What y'all, what y'all get into this weekend, man? Y'all good? Not damn thing. No, I'm not. Really, Uh, it was... My listen, niece, listen. My, it was my, it was my, Reefer brought the rap snack. <laughs> yeah, yo, he listen. So we, if you got, if y'all watch the videos real, real quick, I didn't mean to cut you off. Y'all watch no, the videos. You, you. We got rap snacks. We got the Boosie. What yep. is those? The Boosie what? Louisiana Heat. Louisiana, Louisiana Heat. Heat. We yeah. had the Migos uh, sour cream with a dab of ranch. Uh, what's what's the uh, Cardi? Cardi is, behind me. I can't see. Uh, Cheddar, Cheddar barbecue. barbecue. Cheddar barbecue and, and that was honey hot, honey jalapeno as well. Very well. Okay, so it's kind of like this. Oh, one. okay, so it's just, oh, but it's, these are puffs. Yeah, these are puffs. Those okay, are so yeah, he true. brought in a new bag with Trina honey jalapeno. Uh, here it is on the video, y'all. Black tie says she looks like poison ivy. She, she kind of does, uh, which I, I I'm inclined to agree. Nope. Uh, actually, there's a quote on the back from Trina. Did y'all see that? No. Let the chips fall where they lay, okay. and where they land is where they stay. I'm, I'm not bars. Mad at that. Bars. 
Shout out to Trina for real. Definitely shout out to Trina, man. And, so, and um, the honey jalapeno was on point to me. It's like just the right amount of jalapeno. It's all right. It's it's all right. I, the the level of jalapeno is, is is cool, but it it tastes like a like a barbecue light chip. See, I, I'm not even into uh, the cheesy puffs type shit, like right. the puff chips. I, I I don't really like them, but I just want to try it. Right. They're not bad though. Make a new edition. Right. Definitely got a new edition up here. What were you about to say though? Uh, well, doing? this well, this last week it was uh my niece's my goddaughter's birthday. And then my dad's birthday was a couple of days later. So, you know, shout out to them. Happy birthday to them. And, you know, they that's that's pretty much what we did on the weekend. Shout out to the Reefer fam. Went out to Tyler with the family for where my brother's wife lives and everything and just where her family is and we took my niece and boom. Had a little party. Okay, digged it, digged it. What yeah. about uh, what about Black Tide? You good, man? Man, I, I was chilling. You know, I I, I, really, I don't like this dude right now. He just he just off all week. So <laughs> you, I'm hating. You know yeah. it. You know it. Yeah. Okay. Got to get it in. I just I, that was me last week. So you know, I wasted half his day. I can't front, but that's a, can't get too mad. Hey, that's what you want. To no, do? no. You, you know what though? No. It, it bothers me because I, I look back and I'm like, shit. Now I got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I got to get going. Hey, when a few days go past and it's still the same thing, then, then you're like, okay, now let's go. But you know, it happens. Yeah, a few not, days out of that shit, you got to just relax. Tomorrow, I got to get recharge. everything fucking done so I, I can <laughs> bullshit the rest of the week because I don't need that being like on my the last thing. Yeah, yeah, the last anxiety filled day. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, I didn't do nothing. You know what and I mean? And then something comes up or happens and you can't even get that done still. Right. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. noticed that you, you've been cursed a little bit because I said, man, this dude sure is active on the timeline early for somebody who don't have to get up early. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I still, I still, yeah, I am cursed. I'm, I'm still going to wake up early. You know what I'm saying? That but I am, I'm going to sleep early too, so. Yeah, but as soon as that alarm you know is not set, I do not get up early. Bro, it's, I can't do nothing about it. Mm-hmm. I, y- I don't have an internal clock that's just... Every once in a while, yeah. Oh, y'all niggas. That's right. Y'all, y'all, right niggas, y'all niggas be like, y'all niggas be like, well, I be, I be going to sleep. Y'all niggas be up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What time, what time you go to sleep? Well, on so, an off week like this. On off week, mm, oh, I'm probably, man. I'm probably hitting it like eleven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On an all week? Yeah, 11. That's 11 garbage. Bro, I'm past 11 on the work week. Yeah, bro, I'm tired, exactly. bro. Exactly. On the work week, way past that. That's what I'm saying. On the work week, I'm busy. I'm like up, but uh, work I'm week. chilling. I'm going to sleep at 11. Oh, work week. Wake, I wake up at like 5.36. I'm oh, good, bro. Hell no. Oh, I love I love waking up. I love waking up that early, bro. Why? I used to look, I used to talk shit about Joe Button. You know that. Joe Button be tweet. Listen, when I'm up on Twitter, Joe Button be up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, I bro? It's just, it's just it's just something down. about it, bro. Mm-mm. It's just something about it, bro. Like you're hold up, waking you're, up early. You're waking up. Get you some little coffee. Watch a little bit of news. I was okay? just off the week before, right? <laughs> I, I was just I was a week I feel ago. Like old ass nigga. Hey, a week ago, exactly. A week ago, I was off, right? And you over here talking about you going, you're, you're waking up at five. I was right. going to sleep two hours after you fucking are waking up. I was See, going to sleep There's at no like need for you to do that. I'm going to all night is pretty Bro, cool. you are not a college a college kid. <laughs> you don't have to be. <laughs> to you enjoy do. your time you, off. You have, to, you have to go to sleep. I'm a night rider, bro. All right, Night man. owl, <laughs> vampire bat, however you want to I hate it. sleeping in the day, bro. The sun be like in my eyes and shit. I be like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. Let me get you some blackout curtains. That's, that's what, oh yeah, you have to spray paint the sleep. spray paint the whole damn windows black, that's bro. Why you go to sleep when the sun comes up, so you have to look at it, bro. I go to sleep when the sun come up, bro. And like an hour into it, I'm like, why is there so much fucking light? Well, yeah, you, you know got a black, you got a black, you got to get some dark, dark. Uh, that should be fucking me up because <laughs> Reefa stayed up way too late. That ain't way too late. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> nigga, that's what that every the day sun nigga, coming up when people start. When, listen, when people start getting up to go to work, you are up too late. Nah, that, that, that's perfect. See that that shit makes me feel guilty every Monday. Every single Monday, we leave here recording. I'm going home, and I see someone like pulling out the car, leaving as I'm parking. I was like, "This is yeah. disgusting." That dude feels. Yeah. That, but let me tell you, something, that dude feels. I hear amazing. cars starting. Right. You know, when I wait, when I was going to sleep, I was hearing cars start. People starting their day he's to go to so, work. He's getting so like, much shit done. <sighs> my shit's ending. You get so I, much I shit done. You wait. Those guys early, don't get shit done. They're going to work. I was off from work, so I was enjoying my time off. That's why I look at it. You go to work on you. I gotta go to work now again, so I'm working again at the time I'm supposed to. But that's, at the same time, wild. that is if I'm off, let, I'm let us know what y'all think, trans. <laughs> do you do you like to wake up wake up early or wake up late in the day? As long as I can yeah. still do it, I'm gonna do it. One day it will catch up. As you get older, it catch up, and then you all of a sudden you're just like, oh shit, I can't that shit, handle that. Listen, that shit hit me like two years ago. Man, I'm still riding. It's gonna hit y'all. It's gonna hit both of y'all strong. niggas. Thirty four years old, still like, riding strong. Y'all niggas gonna be like, hey, hey. 
It's a little late, man. I can't. I can't talk right now. I just now. can't sleep. <laughs> you a lot, know what I'm a saying? Lot of times I just can't sleep. It ain't my fault. I think it's because you can't sleep. It's because your ass be going to sleep at fucking twelve. Nah. So yeah, I think you, I think you've shifted your yeah, you internal clock. Shifted. No, no, you know I, I don't stay up till seven. Like I'm on work days and when I'm not off, like shit like that. Fuck no. You Only still stay up late camping, though. If I go camping, all nighter. Sun come up. That's when I go to sleep. So I'm um, uh yeah. I'm gonna be with that fire pit or with the fire we make all night, keeping it lit. Having fun. Everybody's just snoring. Hiking, hiking through the woods in the middle of the night. Like, fuck, why not? I, I can think a couple reasons, but. <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> why the fuck not? <laughs> yo, I've been niggas listening to this podcast right now. Like, yo, these niggas talking about wilderness? <laughs> hey, that shit is dope. Listen, man. Be in touch with nature. That shit's fucking, like, it's real relaxing shit. I'm good on that. Be out there listen to the little water. I'm in touch with this bed. Shit, you just relax, man. <laughs> huh? I'm in touch with the bed. Okay. And the pillow. That's if you're not, I'm not trying and to go to sleep though. And a nice little ceiling fan. But uh <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's move let's move on, man. Let's let's talk about some uh some sad news. Yeah, uh this is... Juice World um uh, passed away yesterday after getting on a plane, uh getting off a plane, mm-hmm. he had a seizure, uh, and then he passed away. Uh, I guess not too long. I maybe went to the hospital and then he got uh, passed away. So it's looking like what somebody said is that he took a bunch of pills uh, before before the flight. I guess. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I mean, you know, I, like uh, somebody said, uh, we need to start having this discussion with the youth because the youth has been dying off and. Because yeah. of drugs and stuff, and I'm like, I kind of feel like Joe Budden was trying to do that with with y'all, yeah. with Lil Yachty, and they flamed his ass up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I don't know what else anybody could do at this point. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna sit here in front and act like I was like into Juice World's music because I really no, wasn't. Uh, I just know the the uh, you know the, the big song that he had, and then uh, you know I seen a couple of like his freestyles and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I wasn't really into Juice World. Yeah, me neither. What do y'all make of this? It's sad. I mean, just because yeah, just because I wasn't into this music doesn't mean I want the shit to be happening and be on such a on a like a worldwide viewing. You know, or everybody's seeing it, and see, which is good for people to understand that that shit happens. But at the same time, it's bad because it's like people see it, and now they're going. You know, other people are still doing it. Like people see shit all the time that people die from. It doesn't stop them from doing it. But at the same time, hopefully it does open some eyes that you shouldn't be doing well, that You think shit, maybe they, they um, I don't know, they uh, justify? For example, maybe. I remember uh, Paul Wall, they were talking about, they were asking, I think he was on DJ Small's mm-hmm. YouTube channel, and uh, they asked him about Lean and some of the rappers that had died from Lean, and he was just like, nah, it wasn't the Lean that killed them, it was the Lean Plus whatever they had, yeah. whether it was sleep apnea or, you know what I'm saying, some other something that combined with it, some other health condition, condition or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what killed and, them. And it, and it ain't just lean. and it ain't. You can't say it's also the lean that does it. It's the self control of how much lean you're ingesting. You know, it's it's your fault if you're ta- if you're just drinking it like it's a normal drink. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nothing to be ingested. Like in high dosages and nonstop, you know, you're not supposed to drink it all day and just every day, you know, it's something that you fuck with every once in a while, like to be safe about it. Do it like that every day. You're looking to have a heart attack or something go wrong, you know, internally. I mean, it's not meant to be used that way. So, I mean, it's really on the person. It ain't the medicine itself that's killing it's the person that's doing it. So you basically saying it's like the gun in moderation is okay. the person holding the gun. It ain't the gun that's doing it. You know what I mean? So lean is OK in moderation. Yeah. Like I, if if I got a, if I got a fucking eighth of some fucking purple right now, I'd, I'd sip that shit. An ace, or I'd, I'd love an eight. That'd be better. But, Just but so I take know, a one. Like it's a one. It's a one. Uh, I'll take a deuce though. Deuce is better. Uh, shit, deuce obviously. Like, deuce like that. It's better. Hey, uh, that shit in a what, twenty ounce bottle would be good. So, <laughs> what about you, Black Tide? I mean, you, it's, you sipping the lean. At the end of the day, like the whole lean conversation, because I remember them. People talking about that, like, okay, do we need to stop this? Do that? It like, it's like what you said. Kind of, that is kind of justifying it. Like, it is still recreational drug use, right? Which is not what it's intended for. No, so of course, there can right. always be side, side effects. effects. Yes, right. 
but also to your other point, I mean, I, I feel like this was a conversation someone did try to start before and mm-hmm. it didn't <laughs> go yeah. over well. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, you hate to see someone because I think he was just 21. So you hate That's to see crazy. someone that young. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Pass away. Because, and- uh, you know, like I know people want to, you know, like, and I'm not trying to like talk bad on what I know people want to paint. Anytime somebody dies, they want to paint him like in the in like this kind of legendary status. Yeah, and he has he has he didn't get a chance. Nah, not at that. We age. don't know. Yeah, you know it's what I'm saying. He's he too was, young. He was on on his way up. He was having great success starting. Right. At, we don't know, know where he would have landed. His way up. Nah, we want to know. Uh, and I, I will. Say, I know. At this point, it's still you know it's just a lot of rumor mill. We don't have a bunch of details yet. Um, you know. Stuff's still kind of rolling out <laughs> as we're seeing this. Even right. when I was just reading stuff before we came in here. <clears throat> so, I mean, I yeah, had none of the autopsy. And all that yeah, like I saw that. Toxicology. You know, no. There was some going on with authorities. So, there was so authorities waiting on them. Well, and, they were saying it was a bunch of like weed. Yeah, I think they said they recovered 70 pounds. Right. Or it was on, it was a private plane. Yeah. Yeah. Security got arrested. I think that was for some gun related though. Um, then I read some stuff. They were saying that they thought there may be an overdose thing. I read one thing. Again, it's all speculation. We don't know. They were saying they thought he took some stuff trying to hide it before yeah. authorities came on. There oh, were some people shit. saying like, oh, he yeah. had a... That'd be bad. He would you. use from time to time. We don't know. I mean, we're st- obviously, everyone's still waiting on toxicology reports yeah. and all that, but... It's all speculation. It's just extremely unfortunate, whatever oh, yeah. was the cause. Yeah. For him being young, for too. so man. young. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just it sucks, but you know, I don't know what uh what shit happens mean. every day though to like <clears throat> just everyday people. The same thing that's happening to them is just right it here. It's on a national, you know, it's or it's it's news for everybody to right, see. Right, right. I see what you're saying. Like it's like there's thousands of people that this is that go through this, you know and it happens every day. Right. The same thing that just happened. It's to him. just a big deal because it's him and he's a rapper. Yeah, he's young, but, I mean, so I mean, it needs to be known. I mean, but just, I do feel like there is some sort of influence that's happening. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? From the music. Yeah, oh, well, definitely. That's you know what's what because they're glorifying it. But, you know, I like my sprite Easter pick. We all love yeah. that line. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, yeah. You know. At the same time, I'm not like running around here with like Easter peak drinks all, thing is, all day long. It's because everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants but, to be cool. That's the thing. I want to be cool. Yeah. Like, the rappers are doing it. I want to do it. Did, and motherfuckers did, don't. They're, they're just, they're just <clears throat> doing it carelessly. Right. And you know what? And the thing is, I ain't condoning saying go do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I choose to do it, I do it. If you right. choose to do it, you do it. But the thing is, do it. Not carelessly, do it in moderation. Do that shit. Like, well, that's the problem. You got, you got, you like got alcohol. kids. You, you got kids doing this shit. So. That is the problem. The right. kids are being able to get a hold of it. That's right, the right. problem. <clears throat> Whoever, whoever's giving it to the kids. That. So then there was actually something I read somewhere that were future. <clears throat> I think that I think uh, Juice World, excuse me, had met Future and he told him that he was inspired to drink lean by listening to Dirty Sprite. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. There's an article somewhere or something. I don't know if it was Juice Word. It may have been another rapper that said this is a future, but Future heard this and was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I forget what the article is. I've seen it floating around. I should go look for that or whatever, but uh, <clears throat> there is influence that's happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, and I, he didn't mean to condone it, I'm sure, but then it's just like, damn. Well, <laughs> they don't mean to condone it, but then when you like, when you're like, bro, stop doing that. It's because there's people that's out here doing that shit all the time. Like, why yeah. you rap about that? Why? Are, and they, everybody looks at them like they're like the the party poopers. Yeah. You know what oh, yeah. I'm saying? And uh so you know, I mean there could be a you know, Juice World is the one that got where that happened to, but there could be all those thousands of people that we talked about mm-hmm. could be influenced by the same music. So. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. You know, you know, influenced by that or just influenced by someone they know that does it, you know, just same time just <clears throat> you can't blame the music, but the the music is very influential. You know what I'm right. saying? So that definitely does play a hand in it but you can't just go with the whole like oh the music made me do it you have a choice and you also should I have agree. self-control I agree. and know what the fuck you're doing and know what you're ingesting and know who the fuck you're getting it from right. if you are doing that shit because if you don't you don't know what the fuck you're ingesting you don't know what you're doing and it's not safe the dope game the drug game is a not is not safe at all you nobody unless I mean, nobody knows what the fuck they're really putting into their system most of the time when they're doing something. That's You're true. Just buying something off the market, it ain't graded. But you know, one thing that I have been noticing is there's been a way, a way higher uptick in people mm-hmm. uh, in politics talking about legalizing all drugs. 
Uh, because some country in the, uh, some other country South overseas. America. No, it wasn't even South America. It was somewhere overseas in another place. I remember somewhere. My oh, dad talking about Venezuela. years ago. Years ago, uh, that they no, actually you're right. I think it was that. You're right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They legalized all drugs and crime rate and, and drugs and, and drug all that shit dropped down. Went down. It yeah. went down. You're right. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what it was. It was them. It was Venezuela. Yeah. Uh. So there's been talks of people like getting to the point of doing that and then creating like drug safe zones. Uh. Mm-hmm. Even even uh, I remember Vice putting out like. Videos of like, okay, we know you're gonna go to these parties. We know you're gonna go to these um, these uh, music festivals, and we know you're gonna get some drugs. Yeah, this w- they even have like people set up at these at these places that will test the eye. drugs. And, ah. They test the drugs for you to make sure that make you're sure getting you're good shit. Yeah. yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, that's what's up though. Because yeah. I mean, because <clears throat> it's like there's no reason to like ru- you know like it's like doctors giving away free condoms type shit. You know, like when you have right. store buy it, you just go to a doctor and you know they'll they'll give you it just so you're safe. It's like you know? yo, we know you're gonna be out here fucking, so yeah. you might as well just be protected at all at the you know the Straight whole time. We might we're not gonna stop you from doing that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's I like that right. idea. That is a good idea. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe we maybe we need to look more into that, y'all. So. It's worked other places, should right? Uh, wrap up. What's up with the wrap up, man? Uh, we saw <clears throat> a lot of good year end stats. Uh, Spotify they put out their thing, so podcasters, artists, listeners. Oh, that's right. Got to see a lot of their year end wrap up information. Some of it's kind of cool, uh, pretty interesting. A lot of people, I think most people that posted theirs, I don't think anyone was surprised by who their top artist was or was not. Um, but a couple things I wanted to point out. One I thought was pretty cool. We know. We've mentioned the baby's name a lot this year. Right. Um, he posted his, uh, you know, his stats. Uh, I just wanted to share just because I thought it was impressive how big of a year he had. Well, yeah. What was his What was his numbers? Um, he put up, he had listeners in 79 countries, 42.7 million listeners who streamed at 41.3 million hours of music and 1 billion streams. Damn. And it seems like we didn't. Not just we, but much of anyone met, didn't mention his name a year ago. That's true. I mean, he was getting a little bit. Of, he was getting a little bit. Uh, but he's definitely had a good, uh, a good strong year this year. Yeah, it was. There was a one of the stats that Spotify sent me. They said I played two thousand two hundred and thirty four different songs. <laughs> Only two thousand. I'm thinking. Yeah, we got to spread. How me. many of these songs? Songs I didn't want to listen to. <laughs> Yo, because the players nah. be playing some bunk ass shit. Sometimes you be like, nigga, why did you put this nigga <laughs> on my mix? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times did I have to side, side eye the algorithm? Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but no, but <laughs> that, 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 that. But it's surprise. getting better, though. You know what it, I'm saying? It's very good. Yeah, it's actually like, like, I, like, <laughs> there was somebody that was online that was like, oh shit, they really know me. And this is, and the person was like, yo, no fucking does your fucking data. Exactly. It's, you know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's I will say that it's cuz it showed me like compared to years past how much I've used it. Yeah. And it's it's gotten pretty good. Right. I'll say majority of the time now mm-hmm. like cuz once you get to the end of a playlist that I've made, it'll follow up with stuff it would thinks. Right, right. And majority of the time I'm like They're pretty good I'll at put linking that there too, Spotify. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll they're, put they're that pretty there good too. At like, okay. You shit together. Even by even by time like year you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I remember, I was listening to I was listening to Ti's album recently because we were talking about you know his album or whatever. So I was running through uh, uh, Urban Legend mm. and it started playing stuff from that time period. It was starting playing like Jeezy, the, like Lil Wayne, Carter One shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, All right, yeah. this is exactly what I would put in here with this. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you know, I don't know how to you know it it, it, it made shit. playlists with your year stuff too, which. Another thing was kind of funny when I was watching the whole video. It's like three minutes was showing all that. There's one section. It's like, oh yeah, your um, your taste changed with the seasons. I said, oh, don't do that now. <laughs> Put my dad out there. <laughs> that, that, that was between me and you, Spotify. Yo, who's your number one artist? Come, come on now. No, nah, no, nah, Train's got to hear it. Come on now, Train's got to hear it. Yeah, y- y'all ain't trillions if you don't you know say who my, my number brother. one artist. Was. <laughs> Shit. You use boy. No, it's, it's, oh, you shit. use boy. It's, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> you Lil use Nas, boy. Lil Nas X. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just want y'all to know when I showed the video to you, you and he was <clears throat> completely disgusted. Yeah, yeah. And said, was. "Why are you listening to this much Drake?" Yo, you listen to way too much Drake. <laughs> way too much. You have to support family. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> right. 
Uh, well, uh, I will say this to um, some of y'all may have already seen it. Uh, for I posted because they they put them out for the for the podcast too. Actually, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> it did say the hours, listeners, followers, and streams went up over a thousand percent. All right, um, this year, yeah, it it just stops at nine nine nine, and it's just like up. So going up. Uh, plus, uh, words across words, your words cross borders. Uh-huh. Okay, from Bolivia to the Philippines, you connected with fans in forty five countries. That's eleven thousand eight hundred twenty six miles of mind expanding listening. Huh. All right. Uh, they also said uh, one country went the extra mile. Your audience grew over a thousand percent in the United Kingdom. So shouts out to the UK out there. Shouts out to the UK. All right. I Fucks with UK. y'all. I want, I want to go see the UK. When I stopped in the, in the UK for just a quick, quick moment. Yeah. What yeah. Are you? Uh, it's our show is in very good company. All right, these podcasts are also big with your listeners, the Bree Idiots, uh, with Charlemagne and Andrew Schultz, the Joe Budden podcast, mm-hmm. Jesus and Mero and Hot Box with Mike Tyson. Okay. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> it sounds about yeah. right. It doesn't. It, it sounds yeah. right in there. All right, and so I, I, was, I, was I hot box all the time. Right. By the way, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hot box with Mike Tyson. I was like, damn, they got reefer here. <laughs> <laughs> the brilliant idiots. I feel like we're some brilliant idiots. Oh, shit. Joe Budden. I feel like we have a very yes, similar we, we style. Do, yeah. And yeah. these are Meryl with the Same ignorant old. comedy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's, it's us in a nutshell. It's us in a nutshell. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to y'all. Listen to them. And, we appreciate um, y'all. We really do. Yeah, man. Top countries, United States and United Kingdom. So, shouts out to uh, all the Spotify listeners out there. And that's just Spotify listeners. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't yeah. know what the actual Every- thing is with like Apple Podcasts and Google, Google Podcasts mm-hmm. and all that Stitcher so, and all those different things. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, Man. you know, uh Spotify is probably a smaller portion of the big picture when it comes to everything. Well, but, thank you guys. Yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to y'all. Thank uh shout out to all the Spotify people, man. But this is actually cool that Spotify does this. I actually kind of I was actually upset because I'm starting to see this shit post around. I'm like, fuck. They don't have this shit for title. I was mad I as hell, brother. They don't have like I was actually very surprised. I wanted to know what my fucking who my fucking most listened to artist was. Yeah, like not true. not even hating. I was actually very surprised. Bro, I hit like, up Elliot Wilson. I was like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Apple had a little thing they did in Spotify. I was like, wow, that I really figured they would. Especially because Spotify did it last year. They must have forgot. <laughs> yeah, because Spotify <laughs> did do this. They did it last year. year. Yeah, so. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a little upset I about wonder, that. I wonder. Honestly, I'm wondering who the fuck would it be. Let's start waiting until the end of the they, year for yeah, real. Yeah, they probably they probably gonna still do it. You know what I'm saying? Do something. We shall find out. Just some basic. Possibly. You know what I mean? But uh, shout shout to Spotify for that. Um, we'll let y'all know if we find out. Apple Music Song of the Year. Mm-hmm. Who was that? I oh. dropped it in the group chat. No. You remember what it was? Was it Lil Nas X? No. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> The Zam horses are in the back. Ew. I mean, shouts out to him, but yuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yuck. I said yuck. Perfect word. <laughs> uh, no, but shouts out to Lil Nas X. I, I mean, I get why, it too. I mean, but... it was, a, I mean, with, without even Apple Music, it really literally was the song of like the fucking yeah, it, it year. It broke all the records. The it was talked about. Because you figure it had all that going on. Before it did the what it did on the charts, right? Then it had on this. Oh, how long is it gonna stay? Right. You exactly. Know? Exactly. There were people that were saying though that they, that they uh, that they just turned their phones on and let their phones play. That was that's disgusting. Yeah. But you know what was going on, man. Except when we said we were gonna do it with Michael Jackson to get that spot back. That's different. <laughs> well, we actually. Yo, I forgot we did do that. <laughs> You do remember we pushed for oh God, we the pushed and did do that. We pushed for for Lil Nas X to get that shit though. We Real pushed hard. for we Cardi did. B too. And Cardi B. They both. They, they but both made we it. didn't build a streaming farm. We just supported. Yeah, we just supported. Exactly. You know, that, yeah, we that. Didn't do that. I forgot when what who who took the place? Was it like it was a group or something? It was right? the Eagles, wasn't it? The Eagles. That's right. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and Eagles like, was like, no, no, no. We gotta get that Michael Jackson back. <laughs> There's Mike. <laughs> that's funny. I forgot about that shit. That's right. <laughs> we were talking about that on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, shit. It, was, it wasn't a secret. <laughs> no, it, it really wasn't. Uh, let's look at the Spotify artists of the decade. Yeah, we had another one. Who? They're Golden Boy. They might as well sign this man to a deal. Who, Drake? Apple Music fucked it up. Go ahead, sign him. Oh, he's signing with... Uh, he's signing with... Um, Title. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't want him. No, no, Pandora. No. And serious. Yeah, I remember we talked about oh, he that. Said, he's talking with Pandora and Sirius. Yeah, because Sirius owns Pandora now. Or yeah. they merged we talked about that on the episode. Took him over. Yeah, so that's where he's going. top 28 billion streams the last 10 years. But the thing is, Spotify, I don't know what year they wow. came out. 
Spotify when when Spotify came out, Spotify's been out for a while. Spotify uh launched um April twenty third, two thousand six. But Sweet. by the time they probably started popping and shit was probably like mid streaming mid two thousand streaming wasn't a thing back. Then. No, no, no. Two thousand thirteen, fourteen maybe when they probably yeah, started that's really when, kick like, off. Streaming was really kind of Picking yeah, up it was becoming list. a thing, yeah. right? Because yeah. you figure Pandora was like low key streaming. Pandora would kick that door open. It did. <laughs> I remember getting on Pandora and I was just like, "Oh shit!" That was just kind of like a peek in the door, like, "Hey, what's going on in here?" I was like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little side eye." Yeah. yeah, niggas is playing Pandora in like clothing stores and shit. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Niggas, that Pandora." <laughs> Yo, I like this group. <laughs> you just gotta let it play. You're like, what? Yo. <laughs> What do you mean I have to just let it Yo, play? A lot of people, I can't pick the song. A lot of people blew up from that shit. Just yeah. like got discovered randomly mm-hmm. from that shit. You're right. What's that? There's a group out. There's a group out that um they're called um it's not sneaker pimps. It's, uh fuck. I forget what their name is. They had a they had a really big song too, but they blew up because of them Pandora. Yeah. Shout out to Pandora. I mean, you think about it, Pandora <laughs> was growing, 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 growing. Mm-hmm. And then someone just says We'll let you pick the song. We'll let you pick whatever song you want. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Excuse so me? So you're telling me. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't have, have a set number of songs. I skips. can just have access exactly. to everything. Right. I don't have That's to keep bullshit. paying per song. Right. I'm in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pandora, uh, Pandora got watched after that. Oh, yeah. Shit. Old niggas be using can that I shit. Can I sidebar real quick? I'm getting real disgusted with how everything is behind a paywall now. Everything. There oh, was yeah. three times in the last week I wanted to read an article and I couldn't. They're like, well, they oh, you talking about the news article? I'm like, okay, oh. I'm not. I'm not paying. I'm not paying. So I want to read this article. So the reason that they did this, man, is because I, so at one point it, everything was open to everybody, right? And then there was some that were always like, it, you know, you got ten articles and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and but the thing was they they lose money these these newspapers. They don't make us. You got ad blocker on. <laughs> they're putting out these like well written articles that these journals that they're paying top dollar. Mm-hmm. They're gonna lose money. It's just they yeah. they can't make the money. They have to make the money. They made all their money from subscriptions. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know when it became the the fucking industry standard, but somebody up top did it. I think it was either New York Times or Wall Street Journal. Somebody or L.A. Up- is it LA Times? New York Times is like the one fucking, of the two is like started the, it. Like, right, one of them started that shit. Yeah, and New York Times is like the. I think it was like right after the whole Trump shit. I know the athletic. Off. The athletic mm-hmm. does it too, and they advertise on a lot of podcasts. I listen to. Right, right. Uh, it's not. It's once one of them did it, they all started doing, and they started seeing that people were making. Matter of fact, it was New York Times because then they put out their their numbers, and everybody was like, "Fuck shit, niggas is buying subscriptions." <laughs> yeah, and then that was that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I want to read this article. But the thing is, though, they've, they've, uh, I will say this journalism has gotten, since they put a paywall up, the journalism has gotten way more high quality now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's super in depth shit where you read it and you'd be like, this is actually some good shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I could just be getting older too. But so, you know, some people who are big in the the publication game might be able to put me on to something. I'm just waiting for us to get like a, a package deal. From like, if you pay this much, you can get uh, New York Times, uh, Wall like Street Journal, The Athletic, and the quality. Why, why, you, the putting out, why you putting ideas out there, bro? No, oh, delete that. <laughs> just <laughs> just gonna, just gonna put a dead spot. Be like, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, but um, just a bunch of money. I can't yeah. believe you. Like, Todd said that. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no I, I'm I'm pretty sure there's people that have thought about that, man. Like it's yeah. been I'm sure it's, it's been a talk in the industry for a while, so you know. Uh, they're just adjusting, man, and they have they have to do that shit because it, the only reason that that shit happens because everybody was like, "I'm just gonna block all the ads." It's like, all right, you block all the ads, they're gonna charge you. You know what I'm just saying? Like, I mean, we're about two years away from we're just gonna have no equipment cable. Yeah, because yeah. all the everyone said no, we're going our way with our content. You're gonna have to subscribe to ten different streaming services. Yep. So you're right back where you were. You just don't have the box. This is yep. this this is this <laughs> is a, a well known problem in the industry, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's why a lot of people are bundling up. Yep. Uh, but it's we'll see in about probably three years. Some niggas is gonna take an L. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. So it's, it's but going to. You, the ones that you'll see that'll be winning are the ones that link up with other conglomerates. Yeah, ne- like uh, not Netflix, but like Amazon Prime is with Amazon, mm-hmm. uh, Hulu and uh, Disney Plus and ESPN. You know they're under yeah. theirs. Yeah. Uh, who's the other one? 
HBO Max. HBO Max. D- C- they have their whole their shit. Own thing. Right. The only ones that don't re- they ain't leaning on nobody is Netflix. And they that started big. doing deals with Nickelodeon. That like people are gonna link up with the big conglomerates because they're not gonna be able to to hold out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we'll see. As, as everybody will fade away. The ones who can't the ones swim, that can't hang. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna fade away. You oh yeah, saying? you'll see. They'll drown. Yeah. Um. <laughs> let me let me do that again. Um. Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this shit's written on the board. It, that is exactly how it's written. Uh, so basically, what happened here is somebody told him, "I only like platinum niggas," and then this nigga just dressed in platinum. You he dipped thing, himself uh, in platinum. You said thing I sent you this. He's trying to be Zordon. <laughs> oh shit! I thought he was a, a knockoff Bond character. Yo, if y'all haven't seen this, Kanye is literally draped up and dripped out in chrome. S- <laughs> in chrome. Hey, chrome. He, look, he look like them dudes that stand real still on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking, the the fucking the, the dancers. <laughs> the most, they, start, hey, they start doing the robot and shit. Hey, from fucking Mardi Gras, they be out there just yep. Yeah. The still the shit. They be out there on Third Street Promenade. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> fuck it. That's exactly <laughs> how you look. The fuckers all over California, oh, dog. No, you saw that knot he had in the front too. It was all tied yeah. up. I was like, what was that? I don't like, know. Oh, he's just standing still. Niggas be like, yo, is he is he real? Is that really mm-hmm. Kanye? He's just touching me, just moves. Everybody gets scared and shit. This nigga start doing a robot. And then stops again. Not even a fire robot, like a basic robot, too. Like, nigga, I can do that shit. Just the, the arm side to yeah. side. <laughs> like, nigga. Uh, like, really? That's it? Yeah, I don't know why he did that. You don't well, know why he I was reading it was part of a, this performance and thing he was putting on a, a, down at Art Basel in Miami. Ah, uh, okay, it's okay. It's funny because so when you see the picture yeah. out of context, you're like, what, you're like, what the hell? I just see them standing there. I'm just like, bro, what are you and doing? And he's looking dead at the fucking camera. Yeah, the right. taking yeah. He's like, damn, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the look he's giving. He's like, fuck, this is going to be on the internet. I feel like what the cameraman was giving the same look. He was <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> <laughs> You look at the good. camera and we're like, the, like, camera's like the camera's like, ooh, look at Kanye. Let's take this. Let's get this. Let's get it out. It's art. That's funny. <laughs> I just imagine him walking around like, it's art, nigga. I'm walking art. <laughs> Shit. You didn't see that uh, that the banana that was taped to the wall, the one for like 120000 No, I heard about this, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of shit that happens down there at this. What? <laughs> they just taped the banana to the wall? And that was art? Oh, someone ate God. it, too. Somebody <laughs> ate the banana? I think someone ate the, the art? Bid. No, someone who won the bid, I think he ate it. Oh, <laughs> what? I gotta double check on that, but I mean, <laughs> why? So he ate the, the art. Why is hundred twenty thousand dollars on a banana? I'm gonna do what I want with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you what spend kind of that much on a banana, that like better be golden and tape. diamond and crusty. Like silver duct tape, just taped a banana yeah. on like a white background. Are you about to show me this? Yeah, that is some wild shit. That's just okay. Just see, a now, banana is, taped on them. This is what wall. sucks about art because this is the part about art where. Because there is a thing with art where it's like in the eye of the beholder and like people yeah. see different things. You can and at get least smash feelings. the banana on the canvas. <laughs> you know, that that's art. You know, smear it on there a little bit. It dries up. It stays that. forever. I, I feel like this is somebody being an asshole. I was like, yo, I'm just going to put the shit up there and watch everybody trip. Yeah. Watch everybody go go wild. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah. Because like, I can do that. That's so art. It's like an apple. Just, you know what I'm saying? So this Take was, a bite out of it and then put it on. Oh, like, that's it right there. The banana taped to the wall. That's it right there. Then, wait, let it get a little brown. A little brown. Just, Just a little the right brown. Amount. You know what I'm saying? Boom. This is fucking crazy. Yeah. Art. It's called Comedian. Art. Art. Comedian by Italian <laughs> artist. I call this life and death. Mar- <laughs> I'm a butcher this guy's name. <laughs> I call this whole death bar. Marcy. <laughs> y'all, y'all why? <laughs> oh, shit. We took oh, that to another shit. level. <laughs> That's, really, that's oh, awesome. Death bars. Say this, say this one more it's time. It's called now. Comedian by Italian artist. I apologize for butchering your name. Uh, Maurizio Catalan. Or Catalan. That sounds about right. Um, he yeah, sold at least two good. editions of this to private collectors for $120,000. <laughs> this nigga sold editions. two editions. <laughs> He's like, oh, we what can't a, just do this once. We have to do it twice. What a fucking boss. This nigga got bought two bananas. Hey, he bought two bananas. That, that's a boss. Yo, I got to see this, I gotta see this picture, bro. But I, I encourage you oh, to read shit. up on the story more. And But, uh... Definitely. This, this is nuts. No, it's bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, add that to the list. Yo, yo. So that's what I'm talking about. Yo, that was a dad joke, but that was a good one. You got, you got to admit. You got to admit. That was, really, that was a good one. You that set me one. up for that perfect. That's one. it? Yeah. That duct tape on top of it. I wasn't kidding. Duct tape. Wow. The, the, the original silver duct Why? tape. Why? What is, what is this supposed to mean? Gray duct tape, more like it. What the Gotta f- do your Google's apparently. Bro, this nigga, was, he was he did that shit last minute. He's like, fuck, what am I going to do? I forgot to paint the picture. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I left the art oh, no, at okay, the house. So, 
<laughs> Actually, now that I'm reading more of this, I think whoever ate it wasn't supposed to eat it, but. <laughs> I'm like, the real art show. Like, <laughs> like, like, they don't put this the banana up here. It's a perfectly good banana. I'm so hungry. Oh, shit. Didn't get break. I can't fuck with you. I can't fuck with y'all. No, oh, damn. Good. Shout oh out to Art, God. man. Shout out to Art. Migos <laughs> Menu. Um, did you see this, the, the partnership with Uber Eats? So <laughs> I did. I did see that. This is a little short thing running December 6th through January 2nd. Um, it has four different options. It's kind of cool. You have the, the tour rider. That one that says price starting at forty six ninety nine. It's twenty tenders, seven sauces, one large mashed potato with gravy, two large fries, five biscuits, and a gallon of lemonade. This is at Popeyes. Yes. Yeah. The offset is uh, eight pieces, uh, one large fry, one large mashed potato with gravy, and four biscuits. Um, and that one's twenty uh, twenty one ninety nine. These are family plans. Family meals. <laughs> family meals. Family the Quavo. Boxes. Which starts at seventeen ninety nine, is two chicken sandwiches, two regular fries, oh my God. one regular mashed potato with gravy, two apple pies, and two small drinks, and <laughs> the takeoff nine ninety nine. If y'all don't got no Cajun rice in here, I ain't fucking with it. Five tenders, two sauces, one regular mashed potatoes, two biscuits, one apple pie. You use out. I'm out. <laughs> For that reason, this is shark. This is shark tank. (laughs) For that reason, I'm out. (laughs) Or you could order the (laughs) UU Cajun rice. Just Cajun rice. Cajun rice. That's That's it. Spicy chicken. That's it. Um, In the middle of the rice, this this is got to dig for it. Listen, okay. (laughs) (laughs) The rice. Uh, (laughs) That's brilliant. So you got to dig for it. So giving out uh, more ideas. Blank that shit out too. So uh, I don't. I don't like this. Cause I kind of feel like they're paying her. They paying her <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. Uh, to us. And you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like, all right, bro. Like, <laughs> like, all right. Like, Calm you, down. Pump the brakes. <laughs> you, had a sad, you had a sad spicy chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did uh, you really have to go here? Yeah, I don't need you to go here, but. Wow. You know, I guess it's cool, man. You know what I mean? Just kind of see it pop in there. I don't know how people are going to feel when they're like, yo, let me get the Quavo. <laughs> I mean, they, I, look, <clears throat> Popeyes are you gonna order the Quavo? Fed up. Are you gonna? If they hell yeah, they fed up. They said first right, y'all do this the, shit, the chicken sandwiches. Now this, yeah. <laughs> oh right. shit, yeah. It's niggas pulling up. Yo, let me get a takeoff. Uh, yeah, two takeoffs. <laughs> 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 yeah, two takeoffs. Because you know someone, someone gonna come through the drive through. Yeah, let me get a. Three Quavos. Yeah. A takeoff. Hey, a and then they're they they going to try, the yo, yo, and they go try <laughs> and change the order. And they're like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't customize hey, it. I want to replace the mashed the potatoes with a Cajun rice. <laughs> like, I want the Migos. What's that? All of them. Yeah, all Just of give them. Give me all of them. <laughs> you guys, niggas are going to walk out. I promise they're going to walk out the job. Yo, they're like, man, fuck. Yeah, niggas are going to walk out. up, man. Uh yeah, pray for the uh pray for the Popeyes uh employees. Hey, I hope they're getting paid, but you know what shout though? Shout out to me, ghost, though. You know what though? I think that they're bringing in a lot of money right now. I know they're bringing in a lot of money right now cuz every time I see the Popeyes, yeah. it's fucking packed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Since that damn that chicken sandwich has been out for a while, that shit be packed. Still packed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know they're going to bring in the money, so I'm hoping 2 years from now, <laughs> all right? They will have done a revamp of all their restaurants. They could use it. They will have a new customer service based. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it'll just be a, a way better experience. This is what I'm hoping for. You yeah. figure they probably also got a whole second wave of people who are like, I want to try that, but I refuse to participate in this craziness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not course. getting stabbed. I'm not getting my car scraped up in the parking lot. <laughs> so you got a lot of people that want to try it. They're going to wait. So once it becomes all good and like... All is well with the serving and the, the employees and all that stuff. Then they can go and they'll be able to order. At that point, a few years from now, they'll order the UU, the Reefa, or the Black Todd. Right, exactly. I mean, it, it was kind of cool. It would be kind of cool <laughs> to get like a, the, some of your favorite artists' <laughs> favorite things at wherever they like to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Todd's is gonna be a chicken sandwich, but it ain't gonna be spicy. It's gonna have a little bit of avocado on it. Oh, oh hell no! <laughs> hey, do you, do you, hell hey, no! Do you is gonna have jam on that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, so you just gonna be gonna be two Some McGriddles jellies. covered in jelly. <laughs> yeah, gonna man. Be spicy. Shout out, shout out to the amigos though. Um, uh, I did Louis. have the uh, the Obama special at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Oh yeah, they they yeah. they real big fans of Obama over there. 
You know what I'm saying? I seen the pictures and stuff. They're like, yeah, you know, we we Obama came here one time. <laughs> <laughs> now we got him. So yeah, that's how that, that's how that Ross, they be flaunting that Obama visit. Uh, <laughs> Let me get that Andrew Yang. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming next, baby. That is coming. Yang twenty twenty dot com. Now uh, we don't got <laughs> nothing here on screens, but you did say you you watched a couple movies. I've been working on my homework. You know, All right, after getting cussed out like a real nigga should. You know, publicly embarrassed. Scorsese. Okay. Um. Yeah. That oh. dude. Okay. Like, oh, it's not. It's not sounding that good. Oh yeah, that dude. <laughs> no, last one I watched was Goodfellas. Oh, you finally watched Goodfellas. Okay. All right. So now you now you've gra- you graduated. You know what I'm saying? To top dog. You've elevated. Yeah, to the- it's it's probably not gonna hit like it should for you because this is it, like you should have watched it when it was the a movie. Is. Right. Yeah. Right. But it still should hit though because it's a classic. Well, still, the, still the funny thing is, like, I know because when things are based on a true <clears> story, like. Because I got kind of mad at the end of Goodfellas. I'm like, I understand it's based on a true story and there's nothing they can do about that. Yeah. I'm still not happy. Yeah. As I soon mean, as dude, as soon as he started getting a little too coked up, I was like, oh, here it comes. I know right. Scarface all over again. Right. I know it is about to go. Right. And it, 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 but you have seen Scarface. I have seen Scarface. Okay. Yeah. Bad, 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 bad. I think I'm going to do a... Uh, you need to do a casino. casino next. Yes. So, so you need to do casino. And then right heat. there. That, that one, listen, casino... I'm doing that then he yeah. the casino changed like there's like life before casino and life after casino. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like there just is. things are just different. You know what I mean? Uh they'll probably look at heat in a different way if you watch it after you watch casino. Yeah. Then when no, you would have then what you would have seen it if you watched it before. I'll do heat first, man. Well that might actually be better. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Casino will change your life. Mm. <laughs> I'm saving I now, watch it. Casino's just first. different. Casino's just different, man. It's just a different, watch different first. Vibe, man. Top it off with a casino. <clears throat> um you seen it departed. Mm-hmm. He was low key hating on the party. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I think I was. He was, lo- he was low key kind of hating. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, bro. Was I? Yeah, yeah, you were, man. I was like, I, I gotta check you. Were y'all just prisoners in the moment? <laughs> oh, <laughs> listen, wait, listen. We named an episode "Prisoners in the Moment" because he says some shit like this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, that's perfect. I'm about to get flamed up again. <clears throat> um, yeah. you, so you didn't like the departed? What? You think I didn't it was that? Say, no, well, didn't you didn't say, say you didn't like it. It just it wasn't this. You said we hyped it up. Yeah. Too much. You're saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? What do you think? I feel like that happens though. To to be fair to the departed though, I feel like that can happen to any movie that, that has like, that. Your friends cast. love it, and you haven't watched it. yet That's a great movie and a great cast. That and shit won. That up. shit won the best picture. At the Oscars when it that year that it came out. And everyone getting to speak in their natural Bostonian no, accent. Bro, everybody speaking like they're from you, fucking you Boston. Use the exact words were quality Boston talk. That's yeah. exactly what I said. Quality. That's quality Boston talk, dog. Yes. Now get my khakis. <laughs> he said, maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. That's quality <laughs> shit. No, that I, is. I was I was a little mad at dude at the end. That's a that's a that's a that movie. Start going down in the elevator. Yeah, that's a Scorsese movie. Oh my gosh, dog! That whole that whole little sequence at the end, bro, when everybody was fucking taking a bullet, bro. That was that was some catching the L, bro. Bro, that's some shit. You if you're in a movie theater, you in the movie theater when that shit came uh, out. (laughs) Yeah, when when Leo caught that L, bro. Oh man, bro, niggas was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck just (laughs) happened here?" And then the second later, this nigga catch the hell? And yeah. then this nigga catch the hell? Was like, I was like, you thought you are the only one? I said, oh. Yeah. oh we handed L's out. Yeah. They, they, they had like a 4L flush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. He said a 4L flush. It was like yeah. Ace King, it Queen like, Jack. Boom, boom, they all got boom, shit on. Oh, oh, shit. Yo, Matt Damon was a bitch, huh? Yeah. He's a bitch. I mean, I was That's... hating on his girlfriend at first, too, though. So I was like, yo, 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 what the fuck? You just moved in? You already messing around? Mm-hmm. Listen, he, he was a bitch. Yeah, I'll say no both of them. He was a bitch. Did you see did you see the little rat at the end? The little there's <clears throat> if you watch it all the way to the end, there's a rat on like a the actual an actual rat yeah. on Not Master Splinter. On the ledge. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of the saying. The thing. Now, Everybody the was clone. ratting on each other. Yeah. <laughs> in real life though, he got killed much More later. Of the story. After that stuff happened, though, right? Who in the departed? Yeah, I don't think that was a true story. I thought that that was based off of. I I got a couple people who've been cussing me out. I gotta get with them. I could be confusing my movies. Now. Okay, yeah, I don't think that was a true story. I think that was just a that was just well written. <laughs> See, it felt that. true, right? You was like shit. That's what y'all told me. Oh, okay, all right. <clears throat> That's true in my eyes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, shout, shout out to you getting caught up on some on some Martin Scorsese. Yeah, good shit. I'm, good I'm proud shit. of you. 
Damn. All right. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. We got some more we got to put you on to as well. Watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Let's move on, man. Uh, the battle of the fucking decade. Oh. This one's for the up. culture. Hold up. Eminem versus Nick Cannon. The battle we've been all waiting to see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> got one of them sound effects. It's <laughs> finally here. Okay. Oh, shit. In this corner. Marshall Mathers, a.k.a. the Great White Hope, a.k.a. Slim Shady. Slim Shady. Eminem. Versus Mr. Wildin' Out. A.k.a. Rabbit. No, no. Mr. Drumline. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Carey. Apparently, he's Mr. <laughs> he's Mr. New Tupac. He said Mr. Mr. <laughs> said Mr. Carey. Mr. Carey. I just caught that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> You have bars for you next. Quality. Oh, yeah, get you these bars. Yeah. Let's 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 start with the Eminem. Uh, I know where this stems from. Uh, Nick Cannon was on Ti's show. Yeah, I actually watched that clip on on YouTube. Uh, Nick Cannon was on there, basically talking about the whole Mariah thing and talking about Eminem. And uh, Nick Cannon verbally stated numerous times on this interview that he would beat Marshall's ass. Yeah. Okay, he didn't give a damn about no battle. They got beef, like it old fight, beef too, though. Fight, right? fight. It's definitely old beef. Yeah. Okay. Well, because <clears throat> all right, they shit like ten years old. They don't like each other. It really yeah. stems from Eminem and Mar and uh Mariah. and Mariah. <clears throat> they went together, broke off, uh, and they kind of started dissing each other. Well, Eminem was kind of, <laughs> you know, Eminem. He. Mm-hmm. He, he likes to his, he he, he likes, stirs shit up. All right, he likes to shove a finger in the wound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely does. Uh, uh, Mariah got upset with that and made her this R and B song to him. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Eminem has just said some other shit here and there. Okay. Uh, and this is probably definitely rubbed uh, Nick Cannon the wrong way yeah. at times. Uh, he probably felt he had to stand up for uh, his woman, yeah, his um, child. Yeah, the mother of his child and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, of course, that was going to boil over one day. And then Nick Ken's now talking about he's going to beat his ass. Uh, on site, probably. That's how he probably So, feels. Fat Joe had released a new song. Eminem shows up on there. It's actually a pretty decent song. Yeah. Uh, Eminem is on there. Goes in on, on Nick Cannon. Uh, <clears throat> which I kind of feel like this was... I mean, Eminem was going <laughs> to... I mean... <laughs> I knew he was going to say something. I knew at yeah. some point he was going to say something. He's just not going to let Nick Cannon talk about beating his ass. But no. Nah. Fat Joe called him. He said it's the most disrespectful song. That Eminem said it was, it was pretty disrespectful. But uh, Nick Cannon comes through <laughs> with some of the battle rappers from uh, Wild and Out. From Wild and Out. He brought Wild and Out with him. Uh, said, some, said some stuff here and there. Brought Suge Knight on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who said Eminem or whatever your name is? <laughs> yeah, well, don't do that. All right, like you <laughs> know what his, what his name, name is. is. All right, it's we like all know what Eminem. Away. Is. Yeah, yeah. It's like all right, should come on. He must be blind. <laughs> it's, then, it's like then he should. said Eminem's a bitch twice. <clears throat> yeah, Eminem. said that he's like the new Vanilla Ice, and he said we can hang him over like the way he did it Vanilla Ice, pretty much over the balcony. <laughs> should gotta sit down. And then said tell him, yeah, if you and Pac was in the in the room together, y'all two have the same energy. Don't do that. Yeah, this is how you describe oh McKenna. Don't do that. Yes, <laughs> anyone who hasn't heard this at the beginning of the diss like, track. So not only is he blind, he's senile. Yeah, bro. Okay, one. What the fuck. If if you're Eminem, and Nick Cannon is talking about beating your ass, do you respond to him and give him a lyrical thrashing? If I'm Eminem, right. it's too easy. So you wouldn't do it. I'd just go beat his ass. <laughs> oh shit! Damn. Real quick, Eminem, real quick, real yeah. quick. Let's 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 side note it a, a, a second out of rap. Eminem versus Nick Cannon in a fist fight. It's a good question. Who's winning? Who y'all we, got? We don't know. We don't. Who you know got your who, money on? We don't know who. Well, well we know <laughs> that they obviously have had some run in with at some point with actual fighters, boxers, things like that. People that they probably fucked around with, trained with. But I honestly feel like Nick Cannon has probably took that on more than Eminem has. Not to say Eminem don't work out and stay. I'm pretty stay sure Eminem's ready. out here working out, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't doubt Eminem got some hands. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't doubt Nick might have some hands. It might be a good fight. 
Same time, I don't. I, I wouldn't want to call it. I don't know who would win, honestly. Because I honestly fight, feel like Nick Cannon would actually air. fight. I think he'd... Like, if you said, let's put on some boxing gloves and fight for charity, I think oh, Nick Cannon would Nick do would it. would be the first to sign, I'm sure. Nick would be the first to sign. Eminem would probably be like, do I do this? <laughs> I'm, I'm 50. Yeah. <laughs> I'm older already. Nick Cannon is... Uh, just to get our stats here, he's four inches taller, Yeah, 10 years younger. <laughs> did you do? Did you do like the little boxing stuff? He did. Yeah. He did side by side. Shit. What's his What's his reach? <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was about to, I was about to ask that. Come in like, with a five inch reach advantage. I was say, yeah. Is there a reach advantage? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I already said in that. this corner and that corner. So right. shit, might hey, as well. Straight up, I'm sure Nick Cannon has a longer reach. He's lankier. He has the height. So right. what he said. So uh, uh, Eminem advantage would go to Nick Cannon if he keeps him on the we, outside with a jab. We already know who wins this rap wise. Is Eminem all fucking day, all day. Not even a question. Not but a question at all. I, I see shit Nick said though. Nick said some. Nick said some interesting he said things. Some slick shit, but <clears throat> but yeah, it's not like enough to make me yeah. go. And know, he does have a lot. But some, okay, he's, he has some battle rappers with him, so I don't know if you someone could have. Charlie Cliffs did hit a, hit him with a couple little bars here. At the same time, so, is Nick Cannon a battle rapper, or do you think Charlie? I mean, he Char- battle raps or, every day. Yeah, but. <laughs> In a playful way, it's not like, like going for the jugular type shit. Who who really yeah, does he that? Sa- he that? says Clips. Some, Charlie Clips really does that for a no, living. no, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I so mean, I compared say, compared it to yeah, you're yeah, right. Well, I'm saying Charlie Clips does it for a living, so I'm saying well, Charlie Clips Nick, is definitely a wild now nigga now. Not to say Nick Cannon can't write his own shit. I mean, I'm saying he didn't write his own shit, but he got Charlie Clips there to kind of like you know, like hey, this is this is some some good battle. Right. I don't advice. feel like he wrote his bars, though. I feel like those are Nick Cannon's bars. Yeah, yeah. I th- I, that's what I'm saying. I'm, saying, <laughs> that's I'm not saying thing. he wrote his Next. bars, but I'm saying. But I don't like how he was trying to sound like he was a West Coast like, captain. Yeah, like, you're like, I called him Elvis. Hey, he can't... Elvis Pussley. <laughs> Elvis Pussley, yeah. Hey, he came in there trying to spit completely different from the Nick Cannon we're used to. Right, right, right. Like, he came out as Gangster Nick. <laughs> he tried, like, he, it was like a different feel. <laughs> I mean, that's that was the energy he was giving off, yeah. but... Nick also um, said that uh, M's lawyers reached out to him. Really, mm-hmm. really about what? I, I don't know. He, I think he tweeted this. He said that they reached out and he said, "Facts, his lawyers didn't want that one out. They're already on my line." Eminem also replied, "So that's Mister Elvis Pussy to <laughs> he you." He said, "You mad, bro? Stop <laughs> lying on my dick." <laughs> he said, he said "I never even had a chauffeur. You bougie fuck." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He did say. He did say. What he said? Oh, oh that's shit. what it was. He's, th- he's trying to defame his character. Yeah, because he said. Because he said the chauffeur got a video of, of him <laughs> sucking dick. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what he said. Like, but he paid of him. him off. Yo, then laid him off. Now who really the ops? Yeah, <laughs> killer <Yo>. cannon. <laughs> Yo, Killer oh, Cannon with a the whole death bar. <laughs> that's that's good right there. Yo, Killer Cannon with the whole death bar. Uh, <laughs> no, but like. <laughs> oh my god we do, like cause I've never heard anything about this <laughs> you, I neither <laughs> why would you say that like I don't feel okay you're just saying shit do you now. feel like do you feel like Nick Cannon is lying about this I feel like why would he make this up that's what, why would he make it up and obviously people in the industry probably know shit about people in the industry that other people don't know but right. at the <laughs> same time why are you barely using this shit when Eminem been going at you for like 10 years well, I don't think Eminem was going at him for 10 years. Well, he was going at... Well, since the whole issue. You know what I'm saying? Since right. Mariah Carey, that's been years. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I Can't Be Your Superman and all that shit. Mm. It's been years since that shit. That's an old-ass track already. Right, right. So, since then, you know, Nick Cannon has not liked Eminem. If he had this type of shit on him, why the fuck didn't he try to bury Eminem a long time ago with this? With this exact same thing? Yeah. The second dick, yeah. If he had, if he had that, like, how recent did this happen? Oh, you know, is he you're saying, saying this if, just happened, or is he saying I knew about this and I'm using it against you now? I don't know, man. This is weird. It's really weird because I because I don't like people put this shit out here because I don't know who's telling the truth. Yeah, I don't like I don't like fraudulent rap because like, I don't know if I want he's, facts. I don't. It could be a fact. You never know. It could be a ball faced lie. We it, don't know now. We don't know. But what we do know <laughs> is that unless there's evidence. We can only assume that he's just trying to talk shit. I mean, he has to go as far deep and as brutal as he can go because he's going against Eminem. <laughs> so you got it. There. Eminem, like we said, it's well, no competition. There no is, competition okay, okay. in the yeah, rap. No, no competition. So he has to say some shit like that. Shit. 
right? No matter, no matter. What does what does Nick have to lose? Because like right now, like we're show, discussing the, whether or not this is but, true, right? We don't yeah. have no clue if it's true, but we're discussing yeah. if it's true. You know what I'm saying? That could be more damaging, just because like you you know like when they say like people. They accuse you of some shit. Yeah. You know, you ain't do it like the accusation is enough to like it's damage you. Damage, damage you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but it's a pretty. I just don't feel I've like heard Nick worse Cannon's things in rap battles, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, that no, probably have. aren't even true or possibly right, right. true. You but know, that's this one, this one is said like it's true. Like they got video of it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, the thing is, he Nick has nothing to lose. Why is it, why is Nick watching if this video? Get, if you get <laughs> if you get washed, you're supposed to lose. It's Eminem, right? Yeah, right. If you don't, oh look at this. And I feel like people, for whatever reason, just not as scared of him as they used to be. Of Eminem, yeah, they're not. No. Remember when MGK was coming for us? Because I try to, I try to tell I try to tell people like like when it, like people's like oh here goes a, I haven't seen it in the comments for the in the can they're like oh he's coming to kill a career and I'm like. What career? Number one. <laughs> yeah. Number two, the only career that he's ever actually killed was Ja Rule's, but it wasn't even really Ja Rule. The fucking fans killed his career. But ben, who's Benzino. actually... <clears throat> okay. That's a good one. You, you got Benzino. He killed him. Yeah. He, he also did Everlast. He kind of ruined Everlast. <laughs> That's a true one, and too. We're going to let that one. I'm going to let that one. Insane Clown Posse ruined them. Uh, it ain't say, or do they me. ruin themselves? I'm sorry. Excuse me. No, no, no. <laughs> it's saying Cloud Posse is still out here. But are they? Where, <laughs> Listen, where are they? You can, okay, you they're can, here. Just like Juggalo, Ja Rule still makes music. Tries to, but don't mean he's fuck still you up. Yes, they oh, they would. Yeah. They fucking would. <laughs> nah, I ain't, I'm not saying shit, but Eminem did fucking go at him and got him pretty good. I don't think. I don't think they really, really did anything to to the Juggalos. Yeah, they did. I they think were they, going they, at it. Eminem, was, no, I'm saying I don't think I don't think he hurt them though. Well, not, not to their hardcore fans. Their hardcore yeah. fans are fucking clown faced, ready to fucking take on the world. Yeah. Maybe like the pop rap crowd, because Eminem at that time period was like on top of like TRL and yeah. you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Maybe to that crowd of people, they probably was like, "Yeah, fuck those guys." But I'm pretty sure ICP probably did probably probably sold more after the fact because they got publicity. Hell yeah! Right, right. Hell yeah! Right, right. Hell yeah! Uh, hell, actually, they, hell, they actually was it after or before that Eminem shit that they were getting features on like Three Six Mafia and shit like that. I don't know, but they had a little run. Remember, but they did have a run. They did yeah. they features on all these big rappers and shit. They were doing that. That's true. Matter of fact, Tech Nine too. They were fucking with them. <laughs> there was some. There was a couple years ago. Uh, Method Man got hit in the head with a uh, <laughs> with a beer can. I think it had the beer in it still. Uh, by the Jugglers, I think he was opening. I think there was some. Or they had some juggalos there, and they were like, "Fuck you!" And oh, they don't give a hit fuck. Hit him in the head with a beer, and I was like, "Damn, that's Method Man." Exactly. <laughs> they don't no give respect. a fuck. No respect, dog. So I was like, "All right, man." You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. Uh, this is gonna be interesting to see what, how this plays out. Uh, but like I said, Eminem uh, killed this, killed Nick Cannon all day. But I will say this one more thing though. I seen a lot of people that was just like, "Yo, Nick Cannon needs to sit the fuck down." And it's like, all right, yeah, he does. He's way out of his league when it comes to the raps. But at the same time. Is he not allowed to defend himself? Oh, he is. No, you know no, I mean? you know what? I ain't mad at him for doing it. Like, if all. Eminem dishes you, are you just gonna be like, "Shit, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let it be." Yeah. No. I mean, look, MGK fucking went after it. Right. You, you got, you have to, as a man, right, right, as an right. artist. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. It's like you gotta, you, it's, know. you gotta defend yourself. You gotta defend it's, yourself. it's basically like, what you gonna just put your hands down if he's gonna swing on you? No, you are gonna just put your like, hands oh, up. Oh shit! That's there goes Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hit him with the. Uh, <laughs> you just got. You got. You gotta just. Yeah, hit him you gotta that. do you gotta do some shit that's gonna make him mad. You know what I'm saying? Like mad yeah. internally. Yeah, that's yeah. the only way you're gonna. Well, that's why. Him. That's why everybody mentions his daughter. Oh yeah, because they know that's gonna strike a nerve. He's yeah. like, keep my fucking kids out your mouth. And then <laughs> I bet Haley to say the other one ain't even his, and he's the. She's all so that. sick of uh, Haley crazy. is fucking sick of this shit. Like, <laughs> Haley's like, you God ruined damn. my life, Dad. Can I, can I live? Good. <laughs> I'm starting college. She never did anything this to shit? anybody. She, she didn't never do did. Shit. She she was, poor, poor Haley. Yeah, poor on that, Haley. On that aspect, she didn't do anything yeah. to anybody. She ain't deserved to fucking hear her dad and mom going at it the way they did <laughs> publicly. Publicly, like she went through a lot of yo, shit. Yo, yo, like she had the, she literally she had, had to listen to woman. the Slim Shady LP and listen to Bonnie and Clyde. She had to see her mom's <laughs> leg hanging out of the fucking trunk on the album cover. That was supposed oh, to be his mom, her mom. You know, it was like good God. Sorry, she, Haley. She, hey, she went through a lot, man. She's a strong woman though. Yeah. Gotta be. Yeah. Shouts out to Haley. Shouts out to Haley. Uh, You've endured a lot. Dad, dad? 
Um, <laughs> oh shit! Let's <laughs> let's see how to do that. Let's let's move on to uh, whole streaming. Okay, what are you talking about with this? So, oh, is it because he moved to Spotify? I think it's everywhere. Oh yeah, because it was it was whole fifty. Yeah, are they gonna leave it? <laughs> he wants it to stay. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. serious. He wants it to stay. Like, please, can we like, like, say? Can we say? Can we say? I have a gem that a blueprint three. And no, I just no, no, I really no, miss no, this no, album. No, no, no. <laughs> he used to be my favorite rapper. <laughs> I, I miss Kingdom Come. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Yep, the <laughs> no, but, but honest, this is a serious question. How long is this gonna stay? Um, I don't know, man. Probably because maybe that, until the end of the year, maybe. That's like a big, like a title thing. So I was like, wait, this can't. You can't just leave this here. I mean, I think he just did it just for you know the fifty and you know. By the way, happy birthday. everybody. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday to Hope. That was December the 4th. I think he just did that real quick for, you know. I was like, hmm, interesting. He does it every so often. He, you know, opens it up to everybody and then takes it back off. You know what I'm saying? I never know when he does it. You know what so. he does that, right? To get you to come to title after. It's like it's definitely also where it stays, a, a so marketing promotion back. to come get people to come to title. Definitely. Yeah. Because I have no problem listening to my Jay-Z. I just be in here jamming like, All it's day. a hard knock life. For us, it's a hard knock life for I us. No good, dude. Well, that's not the first song you go to. Oh yeah, I do. Why not? No, because yeah. he hits me with too many Jay Z. Oh, I be hit, yo, I be hit me as we walk by my desk. Oh, so he goes beat like, like, the yesterday. I was listening to volume. I was yes, literally yesterday. I was listening to volume three. See, Life and Times of Sean Carter, volume three. So See, ghetto. Yeah, I'm so ghetto. Pussy chicks don't want to fuck with me. See, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly. That's I love, I love the goon Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Uh. But yeah, man, shout out to the hope. Uh, Cameron, Killer Cam. What's going on? Purple Haze 2. Next week. Did you listen to Purple Haze? A little bit. Oh, okay. We when's, we're what's today? Two? Today's the ninth? Yeah, Purple I Haze. I want to say it's been talking about it for a while. The 16th. Oh, man. 13th. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope it's. I hope it. <laughs> that was nostalgic. <laughs> I, yo, that was, that was one of his best albums. Yeah. That's like mm, could be could be his could be his best. Are we expecting Arguably his best album? Are we expecting what Jada Kiss and Rick Ross did? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, yeah, exactly. Is that what we're gonna this get? Kinda, out I, must, the I don't mean not. this. In, I don't mean any disrespect by this because, like you said, Purple Haze is good, but this kind of stuff makes me a little bit nervous. <clears throat> Big get, so he older. Mm. Gaps in time. Mm-hmm. It just, yeah. It's like, uh, I mean, he still raps, though, man. He still He does. Down. It just makes me a little anxious. That's all. And he's still good. Because I, I want it to be he's good. Still, I want it to down. be really good. It's not going to be as good. No. I don't think don't, it's that's, be. that's what we have to understand. But I just want time. it to be nostalgic and yeah. get it, catch that essence within it. You know, I just, it doesn't have to be the whole. That's also why I don't always better, like but. the throwing the two on it. Just yeah. like. Port of Miami too. We recently talked yeah. about. We kind of in documentary too. Like, yeah, because I, I mean, it's like, no, don't do that, man. I was a really fan of the Anchorman movie, and then Anchorman two. I was like, mm, so same, same kind of thing. So you have to don't do that shit it. back to back if you're gonna do that shit. Like every right, year, yeah, come it's gotta out be like, that. yeah, you gotta have that shit like in if you row, spread like, it out like ten years, seven years, yeah. you know, like weird the numbers, Carter. like like the Carter. Yeah, that's the way you gotta do it. That's but what then I was you, but the reason that it worked with the Carter is because he kind of switched the. The sound each, each for time. the first three Carters, anyways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He kind of switched the sound. That's all we recognize on this podcast. Yeah, that's all we recognize. You're right about that. Because Carter Four come around, niggas be like, "Who? What happened?" <laughs> yeah, I don't want. I don't even want to talk about Carter. Carter Five. five? That that still hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> With the V? Nah. Um. Shout <laughs> to the camera, though, man. I'm actually anxious to hear it. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> I want to hear it. I want to see this. I really like that album, Purple Haze. When that came out, no, so I was that's why I just a little anxious. That's all. Yeah. I spun that bitch around, bro. Okay. That was my shit. <laughs> they had a guy talking to you. Welcome to Purple Haze. This yeah. had a white guy talking at the front of the album. I remember that. I'll never forget. Um Changes I'm life. just talking at the front of the album. DJ Paul used to do I don't know if he, he probably still does that, but yeah, they, well, they were known to do that at three six and shit. I'm trying to think of anybody done that recently, man. D- listen, American Gangster. Has Idris Elba talking on the beginning, and that is fantastic. That is good. Okay, Idris it's quality. Quality. Oh, you haven't heard of American Gangster in a while? No, nah, not a long time. All right, it's on the streaming service. It is. You better go ahead and run that one through because you ain't getting it for too long. All right, Ooh. I can give you this title login. You don't think I have title? <laughs> oh, so you did a dollar ninety nine? Yo, you out here? You out here? Hey, you out here? Give my two dollars. <laughs> ah. Yo, you out here playing all these streaming services? <laughs> no, nah, I don't have time. You got them uh, all. Okay, now let's get let's get on to uh, probably the song of the century, 
OT Genesis yeah, right. and the Keisha uh-huh. Cole remix. Shouts out to some of the trends out there that was like, yeah, I got to talk about this because I was I was already going to do that anyway. That's just how I, <laughs> that's just how I am. Yeah. <laughs> like, this was uh, already on the uh, agenda. I really want to know what uh, what Black Tide thinks about uh, this OT Genesis. Uh, what else is there to say? I mean, was it, you know, this is up your alley? Was this, was you, you know. Like it better than the original? Grammy nod. <laughs> Grammy nod. <got you. laughs> My God. Yes, Grammy nod. I agree. Keisha who? Hey, hey, if Lil Nas X did it. <laughs> look, look, <laughs> shit. I'm trying to figure out why this ain't, why this ain't doing more numbers. Three days? Like I said, I honestly feel like people just ain't gonna take it serious. Like just because he, like you, like like the first Yuck. comment you read did, to did us. Did you hear him? The first comment you read to us said it all. Like when in the shower, y'all, like, listen, like, y- y'all, if y'all not taking this serious, you didn't see how hard he was singing. Oh, you for real? Don't I'm just saying, listen. Watch the video. All, he put all, all into just it. Hard. Listen, watch the video. That was passion. Oh, he put it. All that in was there. pain. That was his heart. And the person mm-hmm. next to him could feel it. They could, they sensed it. The dude mm-hmm. next to him. Like, oh, of course. See. You like feeling? feeling I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen a more passionate performance since the Coco. (laughs) (laughs) How we got this? I was gonna say, go get the money. (laughs) Go get the money. Go get the money. (laughs) No, this. this, Listen. Shouts out to OT Genesis. Let me tell. Let me tell you something. Uh, Buster Rhymes is he signed to Buster Rhymes? I don't know yeah. if he still is, but I think he is. It right makes now. perfect sense though. That that is a bag. Listen, Buster, salute. <laughs> anyway, but you know what? that's what makes it perfect sense. Look at Buster Rhymes, old shit, old music verses. Clown around too. We do crazy yeah. things. Elephants chasing him with the neon colors on. He just that's a perfect fit for OT uh, Genesis persona and his character and how he goofs off and just Yo, fucks around. Imagine you. Let me see this. You're at a wedding. No, <laughs> the God. instrumental starts playing. You're like, "Oh, Keisha Cole, love." Oh my God! And then this karaoke? nigga starts singing. No, what's up? You talking what's about against the mic for karaoke? Starts you, singing. He, OT this, Genesis. This nigga song comes on. You talking about a fucking wedding going to the next level? <laughs> <laughs> You talking about yeah, a wedding going, going from zero level. to a hundred? Yeah, real uh-huh. quick. Too. You talking about memories? Yeah, memory's all right. Shit. Shouts out to OT Genesis. Shouts that, wedding, out to that wedding's going to end in divorce. <laughs> <laughs> that is the definition of artistic ignorance this week. No, that truly is. That truly is. <laughs> that truly That is. kind of is. That truly is. All right. Shouts out to OT Genesis. You know, and I, I ain't mad at him for doing it. It's like, it's fucking, it's hilarious. It's perfect. It's funny. It's brilliant. It's, uh, it's, it's made its rounds. I woke up one morning, it was just on my timeline. And I just... And quote, we'll, I quote tweeted and I said, "Excuse me." <laughs> I didn't even say ex- "excuse me." I just said, "Excuse me." You know, you're serious. Uh, and, and Keisha Cole, just deal with it. Sorry. Yo, no, I've been hearing she's a little Sorry. upset, and I'm like, "Why would you be upset at?" It gives you more this rendition. Complete. Yeah, and not to mention, people are gonna say, "So where did he get this from?" Right. Play hers. There you go. <laughs> Got a stream. Be happy. It revitalized your song. Oh, you don't even know just, where that song look, come from, young man. Just wait till these, these DJs start blending the two together. Oh, nigga. Oh, it's, it's nigga. already happened. You know You're talking about eargasm? Uh, <laughs> you're going to have her You're gonna have her song with him on the chorus. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's going to be perfect. I want to um, hear that. Link, also, link it to us if you find that, yeah, any of y'all. Uh, also, we got uh, the baby. What's up with the baby? We are on, on here for two things. Uh, one, he's, he's having a moment, man. He's, I wanted to give him, uh, you know, a, a nice little shout out because he damn near brought his whole music video to SNL. Really? He did. It was it was yeah, literally whole, about as good as it can get. Yeah, wow. it's, about as, it's about as close to the uh, to the, the video. Movie. Yeah, so it's better than Cardi B reenacting her shit at the Grammy thing with you know all them females. Yeah, yeah. And he actually brought the Jabberwockies to his SNL. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I was yeah. even like, I was like, I wonder if Reefa saw that. You know, Thickums was there with, with just had pants. Thickums was there. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same without. Yeah, you definitely need you definitely need that because it was like right in the little V. Yeah, the, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and she had like a little. It was like I could smell it almost, but smell um, of, smell of it. Yo, I'm serious. That's scratch and sniff. It was definitely a scratch and <laughs> sniff. Um, <laughs> and uh, the other reason I had him on here is because he's dedicated to his fans. Yeah, right. And he wasn't gonna let plain trouble stop him. 
So, oh. <clears throat> did you hear about this? Yeah, I heard about. It. I also read comments where some people were just like, "Fuck, like yeah. I didn't pay for this." Yeah, they want a refund. Yeah, but at the same, he did tell them that they it was a free show. Yeah, he didn't say refund. <laughs> Never said refund. <laughs> you have to be careful with him because he did throw out fake weed at a show. Man. All right, so uh, as as in his words, he said he wasn't. He's not dumb. All right. Hey, I'm that's not mad at that though. though. Right. Uh, about money, about his weed. Shit. So, but I, I mean, I do. You know, if he did, if he did give him a free show, I do got to give him his props for Definitely. doing that. From what, from what it was saying is that the that the plane was, they had a check. He said they had a check engine light. Which, Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they call it. <laughs> I don't think they call it that on planes. Yeah. Like, there was a light <laughs> blinking it's called on the dash. Else, but. <laughs> I don't know what they call it on planes, but I don't feel like it's called. I don't feel like there was like a light on. It was just like, yo, we nah, can't fly right now. No, nah, it was you know something. Else. Some gauges were fucked up or some shit. Who knows? Yeah, someone's acting up, man. But I'd rather him, you know, low oil light. Get that shit. <laughs> low oil. That nigga just didn't want to go. Uh, you, tired. you need to fill up the air in your tires. This <laughs> <laughs> the need tire new, light. We need tire a new light. battery. We <laughs> like, oh, roasting his ass right yo, now. Yeah, yeah. We another plane around here so we can jump this bitch. <laughs> Gotta play. Hey, hey, let me get a jump. I need a jump. Oh, who got the, who got cables this long? Just add a hey, attach five oh, cables. So to each you ain't got no cables. I ain't got no cables. Either. Anybody got Fuck. cables? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I gotta do my show inside. Uh, like, nigga, this that's nigga. fucking funny. So, like, you know that nigga lie. That nigga got car troubles on a plane. Mm, that's funny. Um, but uh. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Shout out to the baby, though, man. You know, I mean, I know people are. You know, people have uh situations and a lot of people don't have the opportunity to go and uh to handle that so uh um, it was good that yeah he didn't he didn't just say eh, you know sorry for you too bad you know can't no he, he still he still show, showed out a little bit that's good <laughs> yo they go <laughs> yo i've been trying yeah, to ignore it and i can't ignore it but i'm trying to ignore it too uh <laughs> i was like just keep talking that's what i was just talking to right. yeah. yeah we got we got some we got some stuff happening we got technical outside. difficulties on the outside <laughs> Uh, I oh, never, it's never been that loud. Um, I was doing yeah, so was well that you mentioned. I was like, "Oh no, I'm losing now." <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on, though, man. I haven't listened to the only uh, oh, album that shit. I listened to on here was Roddy Rich's album. You told me French. <laughs> I didn't even know French came out. To be honest with you, uh, I didn't listen to uh, Fat Joe. I, I, Miss your French. You know, know, actually, you said something about French, but I wasn't even paying attention to it, man. Because he doesn't care did. about French. But yeah, he this isn't about French. Last last episode, he was like, "Yo, French is finna drop." Uh, oh, I say, yeah, he's sorry. like, "Yo, he know." <laughs> that's what he was like. Sorry. That's, that's what he was talking like. about. I got hungry and I left and got French fries. That's when he was like, he uh, he normally has one yeah. per album. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I have got to stop. That was like three episodes, two or three episodes ago. But you know, yeah, though, yeah. he has some old songs on this thing, man. Oh yeah, because I mean, like what? Do you have? Well, because like have, I saw, you know, I saw like, a little scheming? ad. They're like featuring Drake, featuring. So I was like featuring Drake. I said I'd have heard this shit already. Uh, look, I was like, no stylist. Oh, oh shit, the old ass shit. So it came out ninety six. So ba- <laughs> 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 shit, <laughs> you said ninety six. <laughs> Woo, yo, you. Yeah. Take it way back. And I like the song. Oh, you said like, that shit came what? out in 96. That's that funny. funny. There was that something is. else old on there, too. Hold on. Let me look. Um, that's crazy. But that's the thing. That when people promote and have shit singles coming out for like over a year, it's like, is that going to be on that next album you dropping? Goddamn. This is what happens, man. You have all these artists out here. They're dropping singles and because they, they, they don't care about albums anymore. They no, just this drop this single, 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 single. Relative. Single. They're just trying to stay relative. Yeah. And they just put the album out and then, you know what I'm saying? It has like five of the... 10 singles has already came out and then the other songs are just other singles they're not even in the flow of an album or some sort of concept of the they don't give a shit already, already, you're already tired of a lot of the songs you Lock Jaw already. with Kodak Black oh yeah that came out a while ago God, yeah on, that's old No Shopping <clears throat> with Drake come on though. couldn't make Stop. more music <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, he he, fought, he played everybody. He did. We're glad he's out of the hospital. But this is why this is why niggas don't buy albums There's no 20, more. Twenty tracks on that. I just I'm twenty confused. tracks. You could have cut I'm out all of those old ones that everyone heard already. And no, that's what he's better. trying to do. He's trying to get them streaming numbers up. Yeah, really, he is. But who wants to stream a whole? Who, who wants to stream a whole French Montana? Album? I feel like there's a couple. <laughs> I agree. Of I agree. There's a couple other tracks on here that I'm like, wait a minute. Is Damn. Diddy on here? Probably. I can't sit out in front of Reefer. <laughs> he is, huh? Oh, this is a, oh, this is a double. This is a double. Ah, uh, because as the tracks one through nine, the one through eleven. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I don't know. So maybe, you got those as probably like bonus tracks. Chances, now. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, whatever. Yeah. That's good. Nobody right. knows what's going. Maybe, on I, maybe I'll check it out. 
Maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, hey, Scorsese. Come on. Come on don't don't get the little Scorsese come on. in here. Hey, come on, man. He's come the on. boss. He's come the on. boss. Don't, don't hey, do that. It is what it is. Yeah, it's what it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I did check out Roddy. Roddy Rich. Anybody check out Roddy you Rich? You had some good praise so far. I checked it out as well. So I really like this song, The Box. Have you heard this song? I'm not, I haven't listened to the album yet. Oh, my God. Listen to that. Listen to that on your way back to the crib. Okay. Turn it up. Add a little bit of bass. Okay. Oh, this is the bass. Okay. <laughs> this Never shit turn bangs, that off. All right. Uh, okay. But no, I like. I liked. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? It. 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 it start, I felt like it started off strong. Reefer was stating this earlier. Yeah. Uh, when we were talking about it, that it didn't end as as strong as it started. I. I. I agree with that. I feel like it started off really strong, and then it just kind of. Started to fade. Even though there's some there's Fizzled some decent out. songs on the on the end too because yeah, you got is. the tiptoe song, the Definitely, roll yeah. dice song Definitely. is another one that I that I liked. Um, <clears throat> it almost felt like well, on, on that, in that it, sense, it kind of got like, more radio it, friendly at, on the end. Yeah, it got yeah. radio friendly, but I was just saying because those were songs that I was I still I kind of feel like it, it started off strong, faded, and then tried to come back, you know, and pull it back in with the wind. But the problem was there were songs that you know the radio songs you can't really do that. Right, right, right. And uh, bring it back. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's but it's a great it's a good, explanation. Correct. It's, no, it's, no, a, no, no. it's a good. Oh, it's a good, a good quality. <laughs> no. a good, is this his first album? No, no. Okay, he's at Feed the Streets and Feed the Streets yeah, yeah. too. Okay, no, but he, so maybe this is his first. His first. Uh, you can just tell he's label. really influenced <clears throat> by by like by the young thugs. The there's a young thug, Little Wayne ish kind of yeah. influence. Um, there's definitely a future influence. Future too, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> did you see the conversation about that that track that didn't make the album? No, like because he had, he had put out the track list and had you know who was featuring on what, but there was one that had the song, but the the feature was scratched out. It's like, oh, you don't guess who it is? Such and such. Oh, was that. it Nipsey? Uh, people don't know. There and then it ended up not being on the album. So oh, people like, really like, hey, we have that uh, that surprise feature. There was a lot of speculation. There was some speculation that hey, they, you, it was Drake, wasn't it? They're like, oh, we're not Drake working too. together. Yeah, then there's some people were like, oh no, he couldn't get whatever cleared by who, whoever it was. And I don't know. I'm sure we'll get it at some point. Whoever it is, I if it's a solid Nipsey, Nipsey feature, though, that's that's great. Yeah, if oh, I think yeah. it might have been a Nipsey feature, but it, I think if it was Drake, Drake would have definitely made sure it got clear. If Drake, if Drake heard was someone else's sample that they were on, and uh-huh. okay, yeah, yeah, true. Um, that um and then if it, if it's a sample, then it's probably Drake. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't feel like Drake wouldn't be in this mix. I feel like Drake likes to get on, hop on things as it's floating up. This would seem like this would be something that he would hop on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get a good sample, so you know that's going to be a strong song for you. Oh yeah, most def. Uh, but I did like some of these songs, man. But it, it's like I said, it's a young thug, future influence. There's some other influences too. <clears throat> yeah. There's definitely some Meek Mill. I know Meek Mill is on here, but there's some Meek Mill kind of vibes as far as like certain beats and you the know what I'm saying. At times, yeah. yeah, it's some of it's kind of like the newer trap party music type stuff, but. There's a lot of stuff where he's actually saying things too, you know what I'm saying? But I also feel like he's young, so he says a lot of immature isn't the word, but I, mean, I, I like I like the it's a lot of, of young minded stuff. You know, I like what the I'm title saying? of the album. Yeah, please excuse me for being antisocial. Well, I don't feel like he dug into that enough. He didn't. I just like the name of the album, but I do like yeah, the name of the album too. I like the name, but you're right. You're absolutely right. He didn't dig, didn't yeah. dive into that. Too I mean, much in the album. It, some of it makes sense, like when you know in the hood, when you're like, I don't really fuck with y'all niggas like that. Yeah, that can yeah. be seen as antisocial. There's he's definitely a lot of that. Too. That's what I'm saying he's he's very young, man. So you know, um, he says a lot of he says a lot of young minded, minded stuff, but. Uh, I I think he has I think he has a future. He does too. I think he definitely think, has room to grow. Yeah, I think he can. I think he might stay around for a while. You know what I'm saying? Chance. Yeah, he definitely hits. He definitely hits some hits some strong strides. Yeah, but that the box that, that bitch bang that beat too. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, 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 that shit bang. Mm-hmm. No, 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 it bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> All it right. pops. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> uh, he just has some... There's some quality lines in there, all right? Yeah. Like when he says, I put 100 bands on Zimmerman. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's in, I'm look, into this. Look at the timing. <laughs> look at the I want those bands. No, but no. What's that? Look at the timing with that story that came out this That's week. That's what I'm saying. I was like, yo, did he write this shit a week ago? Mm-hmm. This is perfect. All right? He just says little things in there. I'm just like, all right, I fucks with this young bull. 
Looking into the future. <laughs> I also like Moonwalking with Lil Dirk. <laughs> it's a little bit too much auto tune, but I did like I did like it. Yeah, I love some auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just falls over right now, like Get the fuck out of here. But yeah, man. Uh, but that's it, man. I have I didn't I didn't listen to Fat Joe's album. Oh. Um, wasn't really that interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't listen to that. I, I did listen to the game. I went back to listen to it since I didn't review it last week, and I I, I give it a nine. Nine, okay, yeah. oh, that, shit, yeah. that shit hit on some good. Oh, let me give Roddy Roddy Rich. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Roddy Rich a eight. You give it an eight. Yeah, Auto Tune still kills it for me. So yeah, he's no, like, oh, it's I'm too much young thuggish for me. I'm, I'm giving it, I'm giving it a six and a half. Okay, bet I believe that. On the games album, what do you think about that song about his brother? Like, oh, that's all deep, right? That's, that's just deep. That's a good song. Fuck, yeah. So you listen to the game album too? I'd already heard it like last week. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you didn't really hear it. He just One didn't want to talk through. to you about it. No, but- <laughs> yeah, I was just hating on the game last week. That's all. No, I wasn't. I don't. That's true. I was hating on the game. I just don't think he better than Nas. Oh, you just want to rewind. <clears throat> Did you hear his rewind? I rewind. Obviously, you're not as the, the creator of that. He did it better. He Bro, did. Nas wrote a song backwards. He did it way better. But the so game. Nas, the I'm game, telling you, niggas the didn't even know did did it better than do I that though. shit. Yeah, yeah. The, the game. Let's just put it this way. The game wouldn't have thought of that if he didn't have that inspiration. Bro, like, like, like nice at that time man. period, like when I remember when that shit came out, and niggas started listening, and said, "Is this nigga rapping the story backwards?" Nobody ever heard no shit like nah, that. Bro. That shit was brand new. That was brand new. That, that shit was, was like, wild. it was game changing. You know what I'm saying? Game changing, and, and it just put, it separated Nas from the rest. Oh yeah, from the yeah. rest, definitely. At I that point, you're like, okay, yeah. I gave y'all that. some good Nas tracks last week, so I tried to put y'all on game, and then I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I left one out. He had a good verse on the uh, Virgo freestyle on Luda's album. I think it was Chicken and Beer. I can't remember which one. I was like, you know, this. So you ever heard uh, Still Dreaming? Stop. Kanye West and Nas? Uh, Come on, man. Stop it. Yeah, I know you heard that. Stop yeah, because it's Kanye. Come on. Exactly. You know he's heard okay, it. Okay, so you. Yeah, you, that's that's a quality, right? That's a quality. That is quality. Right there. Yeah. Uh, no, Nas is I'm, dope. Yeah, and I, th- I think game, game, I wouldn't say, well, he did it justice. You know, for making a part two, but he did not. He, <laughs> he did didn't not really capture it like you know what I'm saying. It. But he, he tried. He did. He try. tried. Yeah, you know he what tried. I'm and that yeah. last and that last song on the album, that shit was deep too. Oh yeah, that it shit. Deep. It was actually a good album, man. Like the games album, like when you listen to like front to back, it's actually a decent ass album. Fuck yeah. There's a couple of samples in there that you're gonna recognize. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On top, uh, I I like the album. You know what I'm saying? There was there was one thing that I did hear. Uh, Joe Budden said that was kind of funny, but I did have to agree with him in the end. Hmm. I was like, "Look, I don't want to hear about Dr. Dre no more." <laughs> did he, he say said, something about Dr. Dre? Say that name. He says it all lot. the time. He says, "You know, every, uh, damn near every song." Like, okay, basically reincarnated, Dre, reincarnated Dre. Oh Dre oh, is the when he first Dre, did like, this when with he Dre, first Dre, dropped back then, yeah. like, okay, okay, we know. When he first, I'm his sad first too. album, <laughs> when his first <laughs> album dropped. That was such a big problem for a lot of people. They were like, yo, this album is good, but damn, this thing keeps name dropping Dre, N.W.A. They used to have people that counted how many times yeah, he many said, times I want to certain, count on this uh, album. Things. You know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. really catch the Dr. Dre as much. Maybe I, I wasn't really paying attention. It was there. It had its fair share of this album. It did. But at the same time, you know, it's just fair. It's, it was a groove, man. It was a lot of chill, chill vibes and stuff. Like, you know what yeah. I thought it was a good album. Man. And I can't, and I, I really cannot get over that that stainless with Anderson Pack. That shit just is a fucking vibe. Yeah. That bitch is that shit just that shit's dope. It's it's dope, man. Smooth, smooth as fuck. Yeah, man. Shout out to the game, but, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to Roddy Rich too, yeah, man. Shout out to Roddy Rich, and I and I also uh, I went and listened, started started listening to Fabulous. <laughs> Yeah, just to check it out. Just Bro, I listened to three songs and I was like, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna finish that. <laughs> Honestly, let me see. If and I really liked Fabulous, man. I just, I'm just not. You're I absolutely right. No, that's exactly where. No, no, I made it. I made it past. I made it to five. Okay, bet. I made it to five, but once I got there, I was just like, hmm. it's kind of like a lost car. I actually left that and was so about to start. Cause. Oh, for like it started off strong, like bombs. Yeah, he had like vintage Fabulous lines in there. Yeah, but at the same time, they sounded aged. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it doesn't hit as hard, his punchlines, the way they used to. Well, what's really interesting, don't. because I, I actually heard him on the song that he's got with Jeremiah. Yeah. I think that song is great. Yeah. I don't know if y'all heard that song. Is that on the album? I don't think it's on there. It's, I think... Yeah. Choosy? Choosy. I think he did a good job on there. Well, you didn't even get to that far, so how did you, you're but, not giving him a chance then. 
I'd already heard that. Well, because they dropped Choosy like first. Yeah. So, yeah. Choosy, Choosy, Choosy. That's a, that's a high song. Hey, Choosy is number nine out of sixteen. He could have at least made it there. All right, I'm gonna go back and listen to Fabulous Show. I'm gonna gotta, go back. I gotta, and finish I, gotta, it. I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta respect Fab because he's he's been there since I can fucking remember. I mean, like I said, his bars, he still has it, but I don't know. They they just. I'm not gonna let Fab just die like that, y'all. I don't want him to die like that. I'm gonna, I always enjoy listening I'm gonna go to Fab. Check him out, y'all. But the thing is. I left that and I was about to start Static Selected with Paul Wall. I, <laughs> I started it one. and I didn't. I, I, I fucked that one. You didn't hear it all. Yeah, I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna it's only it like out. seven tracks. Yeah, it was only twenty minutes. Like, yeah, but I just didn't. Cool I didn't person. get to it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, man, that's it, y'all. We are at yeah. the end of the podcast. Yes, we appreciate we everybody for joining us. Make sure you subscribe. Apple Podcast, Spotify Podcast, uh, Google Podcast. YouTube, mm-hmm. TroyMac.com slash YouTube. Notifica- I got notification thing, that y'all. motherfucker. One, one thing. What's that? If anyone <laughs> remembers from last year, if you've been around or if you knew, you may appreciate this. You know, Black Todd loves his uh, non-traditional Christmas music. So True. <laughs> I got a few recommendations to anybody who wants them. Drum dropped another song a couple days ago. Yo, do you want to make a do you want to make a Christmas playlist, man? I, I can. I don't mind. I feel like you should to. make a Christmas playlist. I, I, I have traumatic. four. I got so I'm gonna put y'all on game trends. I got four on my phone right now. Okay. Because they serve different purposes. Four <laughs> Christmas playlists? Yes. Okay. There's the Damn. one, there's one that's called That's the next Hot four Coco. years, bro. We're good. Hot Coco and Chill. <laughs> Hot yeah. Cocoa and Chills, that one's one of the original ones. Yo, Hot Cocoa and Chill? Yeah, that's the... That, hey, that smooth, came out before... jazzy shit? That came out before Netflix and Chill, this by the way. It has the grown folks Christmas music. I got some, some Kenny G stuff. Okay. Some Boys to Men, Let It Snow. You know, a little Mary J. Blige out there. Yo, smooth. Yo. The adult. I also have... We're going to get y'all the Black Tide <laughs> Christmas, Christmas playlist, yes. okay? I got a... Uh, Multiples, fuck it. Old Soul yeah. Christmas. That one's some classics. Old Artists. A little Nat King Cole on there, you know. For, for the, mm. <laughs> some old school. Stuff. That is old school, oh, right yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Then I have uh, Tinsel Turn Up, a lot more upbeat. Tinsel Turn Up. Yeah, I got like some stuff off CeeLo's Christmas album. Yo, he's he's serious, y'all. I'm he's very, very serious. serious. Very. <laughs> got got Kelly serious. Clarkson on there. <laughs> you know, got, got some good stuff. And then yeah. I have Santa's Twerk Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Which did you come you, up with your own names? He yeah. did. Santa's twerk shop, nigga. <laughs> Santa's twerk oh shop. God. That's where you like, know what's happening of, there. That's fire. That's where I have a lot of the like some naughty you know, else. Christmas rap yeah. on there. Okay, Santa's twerk shop. I like yeah. that. Uh, Rapping gifts. Maybe since we're a hip hop podcast, we'll get the Santa's twerk shop going. Yeah, um, I can. I can do that. I kind of want. I, I kind of want the the cocoa and chill for myself. <laughs> not a problem. Not, I want that not, not personalized. Oh <laughs> uh, nah. shit! Uh, nah, but yeah, but, yeah, drum dropped a litmus. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I seen that. Um, but yeah, man, we definitely get to get y'all those uh, those playlists, man. And what y'all what y'all need to do is uh, right after you watch this, grab the nearest person to use phone and subscribe for them. Yeah, uh, definitely subscribe on like our that. YouTube. Uh, subscribe on the yeah. Grab their phone. Subscribe to their YouTube using their YouTube. Our YouTube using their YouTube. Yeah, you can turn off the notifications because we don't have to bug them. Okay, yeah. but hell, they don't even have to know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just sneak it in there. But like, who the fuck are these niggas? Just know their fucking password to get in their phone and just Reef, and, uh, and give them the gift that keeps on giving. Black Us. Todd. Yeah, and after you do that, type in uh, Yin Yang Twins Deck the Club. You'll see him wearing <laughs> little Santa hats. It's a great song. <laughs> and uh, that's it, y'all. We're going to be up out this thing. No, I'm saying. Don't talk about Deuces. Smoke something, bitch. And a fight go with that. Yang2020.com. All day. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Chillmatic.com for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more.